Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I have an awesome video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you uh, pretty much what I've learned since I switched over from arcade stick to a leverless style hitbox controller. Now, if this is your first time seeing this controller, I'll drop a link of it down in the description below. Absolutely loving this thing and I did get some back artwork installed on this as well. Uh, I threw Akuma on there because as soon as Akuma is ready I am going to be using him as my main. Very very excited for that. So what are SOCD shortcuts? Well let me explain what SOCD means first. So as you can see here on this little screen it says SOCD neutral. This is the new requirement from Capcom in order to be tournament legal to play uh, with leverless style controllers. So what that means is this is down and this is up. And you could see on the little screen these buttons uh, working here. So when you push down, when you push up at the same time, nothing happens. A neutral happens. It used to be where if you were holding down, if you pushed up, then the up would still be active. So this would make charge characters like Guile very effective because you're essentially doing a one frame charge move, if that makes sense. So Capcom took that away and gave us this. But what it did do, on the other hand, is open up a whole other can of worms for Shoto characters and pretty much everyone else. I'm going to show you some of the things that I have learned and hopefully uh, you guys can use this on the characters that you like to main as well. Alright, let's get right into this. So just to show you guys really quick what I mean from what I was talking about earlier, if you hold down and then up, nothing happens. Your character stands at a neutral. Alright, so you may be thinking, how does this help? Well first, let me go over, say, how you do a Hadouken. So it's down, forward, punch. So with down, forward, and punch, how this would normally look, it would look something like this. So where this does kind of come in handy is if you hold down and then push forward and then push up and the punch at the same time you get a Hadouken. So it kind of really if I were to kind of explain it musically like if you're playing the piano and you kind of do a run of keys like that like like that you kind of want to leave your fingers down you know because with this, if you leave your fingers, it's not going to work. So if you go down, forward, up, and punch at the same time, you get that Hadouken motion. And why it's doing that is because when you push down, forward, and then that up, it's just forward because it cancels out that down motion just like that. Now this also works with Shoryukens. Now your Shoryuken is usually forward, down, forward, and punch. So it'll look like this. Again, if you are kind of just, if you're trying to do this the most optimal, optimal way possible, you could be holding forward, push down, and then the up and a punch at the same time. So it looks like this. And it's the fastest or you can, at least that I have noticed, that you can do. So that looks like this again. So this kind of has a, a lot of factors, especially like when you're doing combos. Uh, like for example this one frame link that took me a long time to get like used to right here when you are doing the SOCD shortcut version kinda like a, a rolling of the 
uh, fingers as opposed to like a, that kind of motion. So instead of doing down and then trying to do that where you may get a super like I just did, I'm going to go down punch and then just kind of roll on it like that. So as you could see that was kind of instantaneous. Just kind of like letting your fingers fall down all at the same time like that. And I found that that has been very useful for me. Another huge kind of shortcut or like a I guess advantage that I have found with this is when you're mashing something out on an arcade stick it's very not very certain kind of like if you're getting a down forward up or whatever with these say I want a buffer uh, if you don't know what buffering means it means you're in a pinch bad situation you're getting ready to just uh, shoot off a super or an ultra as fast as possible maybe you're in burnout in the corner and they're going to drive impact you the only way you have out is a super so buffering with this you would think it would be like down forward down forward back like that but you could hold down and then just keep doing this and as you can see like the second I push a button boom I'm gonna get super every time so same thing with like ultra you know any button really it you just have to hold this down and go back and forth like that and you will get your buffering motion just like that now this has been very huge for me personally because on the arcade stick I don't know what it was, but every time I was player one, uh, the down forward, down forward motion very fast, especially in like combos, uh, I just could not do it consistently. But now with just doing this basically, like I can get that every single time now. Just kind of dancing on the buttons and pushing uh, one of, you know, whatever your super is going to be. So that like has really come in handy with combos. Now I, I just I get it every time, 160% uh, of the time, 100% uh, of the time. Well, that is just kind of like a very short video of what I wanted to show you guys of what I've learned since switching over to a leverless controller. I really do think it has been a lot of fun. I, I love, you know, I'm a mouse and keyboard player, so this has been pretty fun to get used to. Uh, just the aesthetics of my stick overall, or it's not even a stick anymore, it's a board. I don't know. I'm just having a lot of fun playing this. And with the new SOCD neutral, I think there's a lot of things that can be uh, learned here. Like, that for example uh, I could just hold down and then if I punch like that and I could just roll it roll it back oh sorry that was a punch but boom tatsu instead of taking my finger off which really kind of those little milliseconds of time could really change the outcome of the match so instead of doing this and then rolling off see i can't even my fingers now because i've been like training my muscle memory for these sod shortcuts like you could always just kind of keep this held down and then use that as neutral so normally you'd have to let go real fast like that and roll it off but here I just I feel like that's so much more efficient than that as you can see it's like a quick second and here you really gotta be like oh see it's just a habit to push that but there are so many different ways that you could take uh, this little tactic 
of neutral here and apply it to your character because I, I call it Shoto shortcuts because reuse my main uh, but pretty much the entire cast utilizes the same uh, inputs I guess the only ones that really hurt from this change are the charge characters well that is all that I have for you guys I've only been playing leverless now for about a week or however long I've had this I just kind of wanted to share with you everything that I have uh, learned over this past week I've been having so much fun with this again description uh, sorry again <laughs> again the link to the video for this will be in the description down below uh, I go over how you could get one of these yourself if you are so interested this is kind of like my second Street Fighter slash F FGC uh, video ever I'm also testing out a new webcam with OBS right now so let me know how this has all looked you guys um, if you really do like the video, leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll know to make more content like this. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.